Good day folks, and as somebody pointed out in my last video in the comments, um, it was not so clear because I was inside the VR and I will try to repeat again the procedure and on a flat screen video. So, how to swap the files in DCS? Um, I'll follow a simpler method here. I will use the DLSS swapper again, and as in Flat Simulator 2020-2024. As you can see, I've manually added DCS because it's not an Xbox application game. So you need to add um, the DCS folder um, to be recognized by the swapper. Um, the correct folder is Eagle Dynamics DCS World Bin Dash Empty. And as you can see, this is the original DLSS files that have been found inside the folder. So just simply select the latest one, which is the 3110.2.1, uh, and swap it. You will have the latest available here. And with this one, you can benefit from the DLSS for new features. So after doing this, you have to select the latest preset letter. And I use normally the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. And in the 5 section, common, you have to select those lines. So you have to change those lines so as to force preset letter to always use latest either in DLSS, in frame generation and ray tracing. So those three parameters you have to change. There's another function which is called enable DLL override. And you can use this function if you're using the latest NVIDIA drivers. Um, for latest, I mean uh, from 5.7.2 upwards. So those drivers allow you to use the override function which without manually swapping the DLSS with the swapper or uh, by manually downloading from the tech power up site you can directly select the driver itself to override the latest DLSS version you still need the force preset letter uh, to be selected if you want to benefit from the latest the current case is the key profile you still need use latest also in the override scenario okay so to recap DLS swapper you can manually replace the DLSS file if you are on older drivers so from 566 and older you need to manually select the DLSS files for the newest ones just use the override function so to be sure and if you're using the profile inspector be sure to change those six lines you can see there override uh, latest preset letter for DLSS FGRR and then remember to every time you make changes to apply changes with by pressing this button so the proof is that I'm using the render preset key in DCS on the version 310.2.1 and the app override. So I've, I've you know, already told you how to uh, activate this script. It's a um, simple registry script that you can find in my uh, yesterday video. So that's it. I hope that this video has been clearer than yesterday and I apologize for because I realized afterwards that inside the VR it was not it was tricky to follow every parameter, every change, every detail. So I hope this uh, has been better. And if not, just please tell me in, in the comments below and I will um, 
try to uh, explain again to you. As always, thank you for following and see you to the next video. Bye bye to everyone.